Hey there, this is Tim from Toy Circled, and welcome to episode 6 of the official Mega Aquarium video blog. Uh, so I'm going to pick off, uh, pick off, pick up where we left off uh, last week. Let's get these walls down so we can see a little bit better. And the major new thing that I've added this time around is um, we used to have those, I showed you last week, the tank UIs in game. Um, and if I hide those, you can see a little bit better. We've also got these little staff UIs now as well. These little bubbles that appear above the staff's head. Um, make them really easy to see from top down, actually. I quite like this uh, as a way of seeing where your staff are. Uh, which says basically what task that your staff are up to. So uh, this is basically the, the feeding icon. I'm, I made this my myself. I'm probably going to um, get... A new pass of icons done down the line but a little bit of work in progress iconography is fine for the point of development that we're at um, a load more growth cool and loads more stuff wicked and uh, if I turn these tank UIs back on um, before I show you the next new thing I've added to the game uh, I think it's time that we had a little bit of a, a reshuffle I didn't have time to show you this last time but basically this is um, if partly because actually there was that bug in the lot in last week's episode where the sizes weren't updating well you can see that I fixed that bug now because we have a load of red numbers where the uh, capacity of the tank isn't great enough for the fish that are in it and that's because uh, the yellow fish here and the uh, black and white fish here, they've both grown to size 3, the clown fish have grown to size 3 here, the black and white here are size 3. Um, our grouper is getting really big, but given that uh, he or she is in the tank on their own, they're alright. Bumping into rocks. Aw, oh, pumpkin our grouper. Um, so, we're going to have a little bit of a rearrange to uh, make sure that everybody has enough space. And, uh, yeah, this is demonstrating one of the things that I think is is going to be this, this is one of the the things that wasn't very clear earlier in earlier versions of the game because we didn't have this kind of capacity thing properly um and we didn't have the overcrowding mechanic but you get forced as the game goes along to rethink your layout because what you could do is just never ever put fish that will grow to be too big in a tank that won't hold them but the problem with that is then you're not efficiently uh, making use of all the volume that a tank has, you know, here, for example, you know, uh, we could have just left these as, with only these little azure demoiselles, the blue ones in here, uh, but then we wouldn't have been able to take advantage of these bigger fish. Uh, so, I think that's kind of cool, let me know what you think uh, about this, uh, this idea that you have to kind of rearrange your tanks when things grow up. My idea for this is I'm going to grab a new tank, we're going to go with this one, this is a double height tank. You can see that it has the, the water goes all the way to the top, whereas if you look at this one, the water only goes about halfway up. Eventually, this will need an, a little platform. Uh, in fact, exactly what you can see in this icon here, but just isn't in the game. Um, I actually have the models for these, but uh, I haven't implemented them yet. But eventually, these will need a little platform to access at the back. So um, that's that's kind of the the give and take, uh, the pros and the cons. You know, the pro is that you get a lot more volume. Uh, let me just show you that again. So this has a volume of 12, uh, whereas this, I think they're both three twos, this has a volume of 6, so twice the volume. Uh, whether that stays at double or I make it a slightly l less powerful multiplier, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But double is, is nice and easy to remember for now. Let's hide these tank UI for now so we can see a bit better. Um, I think we put this here. We're going to pick up this staff door, move it around here. We're actually going to move these two tanks. Uh, now, I have got pick up and move in the game for convenience, but I'm, I'm really not sure how it's going to stay. Um, basically, you can actually pick up and move a tank all together like this. I don't really like it. In some ways, I find it a bit over OP, like overpowered, that you can, you can pick up and move tanks like this, when you would never be able to do this in real life. Um, it is obviously quite convenient, though, being able to do that. Uh, it, it also kind of messes... Um, with with some stuff it it actually makes it quite annoying if you want to say swap out just one little um bit i'll actually show you later in this vlog because um there is some other stuff we're gonna have to do and i'll show you why this method of moving might not be that great anyway for now this is gonna need a filter 
let's give it a big filter because it's a big volume so I think it will need it and then we'll do this I've been getting some comments from people about the thickness of the walls yeah this is something I'm I had a really good discussion with one particular commenter a few weeks ago um, and I have a, a really cool idea for how maybe we could change the walls but uh, I'm concentrating on some other features right now because the wall thing doesn't really matter right now and I want to get some other stuff into the game so um, appreciate your feedback but just for now just hold off um, because I've already I've already got a an idea for how to make the walls thinner uh, and actually make them occupy the intersections between the tiles rather than the entire tile that tile uh, and that'd be really cool because actually can you imagine if this wall was just here along the edge then you could actually that filter could go here it'd give you a lot more flexibility with the way you place things around the tanks uh, cool so, the next thing we need to do... Now, normally what we'd have to do is have build some platforms here so you could access this, this high back. Uh, but uh, but then, then the problem is the platforms would get in the way of the filter. So you can see how things get more complicated if you go for those those bigger tanks. But not not currently. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn these this the tank uh, UI back on. And then we're going to move things around a little bit. Now, we're going to move Casper in there. We're going to move Flash in there. Now, unfortunately, these little fours, the only fish that actually fits in them are these uh, azure demoiselles, these little blue damsels. Uh, so it's a bit lame, really. Like, I, what we could do is put another couple of smaller ones in them and let them grow up again, or we could just fill them with these. I'll, I'll, I'll hold off for now. And then we've got these two tanks. Now, these little ones can only hold two, so it was a bit silly, really, to, to put these in there because these are both overgrown, and actually because they're so small, the overcrowding mod, uh, modifier is really bad, minus 21. So um, I think what we're going to do is I'm actually going to remake this tank. Now, this is the reason why I'm not sure about this whole moving thing. Uh, I will show you how this, this works. You can move the entire tank at once, or you can take out the individual bits of it. So if we pick up this bit of scenery, pick up this filter, uh, we pick up this bit of scenery. Now, these have actually entered a store uh, which is this kind of persistent store it means you don't have to move things all at once so oh, we can actually pick up the fish as well um, and then I don't really want this tank anymore I, I actually forgot, I've took, took out the ability to sell it uh, but that doesn't matter but if we just pick it up and then right click it goes in the store and then what we can do is build a tank maybe like this mm, I'm not sure I like that actually let's go for just uh, okay go corner no, no, no. Let's just go for this. This is just a, basically the same as the tank we had before. It just goes back a bit further. And then what we can do is we select the scenery here. And we can put it back in. Um, it's picked up the tank. We don't want that. So we pick up the filter. Um, put the filter there. Um, got the tank again. It's the scenery. Keeps kind of jumping to the end of the list, which isn't very uh, thingy. Um, I don't know. It's all a bit fiddly. I... I I find it a bit weird the fact that you can pick up individual things and you can also pick up the tank as a whole. It's like it's a lot easier to move an entire tank than it is to, to say do what I just did, which is recreate a tank with a new um, a new set of stuff. I'm not sure. I, I kind of... In, in some ways, I don't want it be, to be so easy to move the entire tank at the same time. I, I, I want it to, to encourage tweaking like swapping things around more than i want it to encourage just the moving of the entire tanks and currently the system it's a lot more convenient to move the entire tank than to move all the little bits so i'm gonna have to think about it one idea i've had is for when you when you pick something up it actually automatically dismantles the entire tank and all of its bits appear in the store and then you can just pick and choose the ones you want um yeah it's 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 kind of messy uh i don't know it's 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 really actually quite a difficult control issue I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with but uh, I thought I'd get some more of the game in first more of the game mechanics before I fixed it now this food store blocks this off so we have to move it up by one now this clownfish is happy but unfortunately in here we have this little uh, guy and he's too big I think it's going to be too hard to fit a bigger tank here uh, we could push it forward one actually yeah alright we'll do the same thing again so we pull everything out and the filter. We pick up the tank itself. Now I wish I could sell it, but I can't. And then we'll build another too big one. Push that up to there. Could have even gone for a corner. Mm, or something. Um, but it, I built it now, so never mind. Uh, we'll put these in. We'll put our filter in. And then let's go back. Who, who was it? Was it Bubbles or Casper? I can't remember. Let's put Casper in here. Alright there. Those, those, those guys can fit. Let's close the store, close that up. 
Now, uh, let's see. Uh, there was a bit of a bug last time as well, where the, the water uh, quality wasn't changing uh, very fast. Uh, it, it, that turns, yeah, it was a bug. It wasn't actually... Um, you might have noticed there was that weird bit when I took out the rock and then it uh, it actually made the water quality change uh, slower. It, there was a weird... Uh, basically I was I was comparing a value without making it absolute so basically depending on whether the the water quality was moving up or down it, it turned made the value negative and then that threw off all the calculations so um, water quality will be a bit bit of big a bit of a bigger issue uh, in this game um, and that's partly because of one of the next feature that I've added um, which you can see starting to have an effect we only we've only gone through about half a day yet let's let's start a new day um we didn't get any new fish oh you know what before i talk about this before i talk about this new feature let's finish off this tank these guys aren't especially happy because there's no scenery um you know what would be really good let's get uh, some yellow tangs in here because they'll synergize really well with the flashes because they're both colorful uh, and here's one interesting thing, right? You see, you've got this guy. Because his stats have been growing, because we've been feeding him, we've been keeping him happy while we feed him, which uh, you can see here, the trait growth chance. You don't always grow. The traits don't always grow now. It depends on how happy they are. So um, because we've been keeping him happy, his, his traits have been growing really well. And he's actually worth more points than this Tang, even though the Tang is a lot more expensive. costs 17 compared to... Okay, it's not that much more expensive. <laughs> but it, it's quite expensive to unlock, at least. Um, and so yeah, there's that other thing, which is when you get new fish, they're just not as good as your existing fish, so you're going to be, you know, you're going to have to be thinking about where you want to put stuff. But anyway, they're both colourful, so plants are going to work really well in this, this one. Um, and let's get a rock in there, and do we have any, yeah, we got some, uh, let's put a couple of these in, because these will boost the, um, Uh, these will be boosting the hardy trait of the of this guy. I think that's enough for now. We don't want it to get too full. But because we've added some more fish, I think I'm going to hire another guy. We have hire Fred, uh, and let's let's go for another day while I talk about stuff. So, the other feature that I've added is if you look at these filters, this one we've just got. Um, filters now slowly get clogged up over time, uh, and the amount they get clogged up depends on. Uh, look, all of them are going over to this. Uh, this uh, food store because it was the closest one to what they wanted to feed. Uh, we'll have to see where they're going. Uh, does this make sense? You're, where are these guys going? Okay, no, that didn't make sense at all. That's interesting. I was pretty sure I'd got the pathing to work so that they'd they'd go to the the shortest route in total. Um, so it didn't make any sense for them to go over to this one. Um, but I obviously haven't got it working like that. I, I, maybe I've just got it so they go to the closest food box. But that would still be this one, surely. That seems like an awful long way to walk. Anyway, you can see that these filters are slowly clogging up. Basically, for the filters, instead of the um, the mood bar for the filters, is actually showing how clogged up they are. They start at like fully green, and then they slowly go down. And they actually lose um, power the more clogged up they get. And so this is the next, the second task that we added to the game which is that after uh, two days it is currently the periodically after, yeah, after two days a new task will be added to the system I'm kind of talking to you for, like as a programmer uh, as opposed to as a gamer as a gamer basically your, 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 your aquarists will go and um, clear out the filters every two days at the moment that's fixed but uh, this guy was hungry it's a shame uh, Comet where are you Comet um, Mm hmm. Did we leave Comet in um, Shadow? What about you? No, there's Comet. Oh, for some reason, he just didn't get fed. I'm actually a little bit surprised by that. Uh, but never mind. Um, but after two days, your staff will go and clear out the filters, which will reset them up to 100% um, efficiency. And that at the moment is fixed but you will be able to go in and either set a global value which is for all of your filters um, how often you want them to be uh, cleaned out you can even set it on an individual filter so for example if you've got a filter which is uh, got a heavy bio load it might get clogged up a bit quicker than uh, others and so you might want a particular filter to be cleaned out more often and then also you might want to set a certain value of cloggedness 
uh, which before it will get cleaned out. So you could actually just go for that as your default if you wanted to and then have some which you clean out more often periodically because for example you've got water quality issues. Uh, so this I think now it's been two days, well it's not been two days quite yet. So we'll just see how this goes. I'll, I'll pause the game when we get our first uh, filter job coming up. Um, but we can see here that our water quality for the most part is actually very good. But We've, we've got this kind of moving thing. You've got the water quality itself, which is uh, changing towards this kind of steady value, which is based on the ratio of filter power to bio load. But you've got this other thing, which is your filter power is, is constantly dropping, right? So actually that, that value, which is aiming for, will, will, will decrease. Uh, so, huh. Oh, these guys, you know, these have only got two guys in each, so these have got really high water qualities. I'm just going to... This guy is struggling because uh, it, it's, it's got no filter at all. What about this one? This is a great example here, okay? Um, oh, they're going to be cleaning out the filters now. Here we go. You can see this one. This one's just being cleaned out currently, and it's just gone back to max. Um, but this one, to be honest, doesn't really have much of a problem anyway. Uh, eventually, if the filter gets really, really... Uh, inefficient then you will find that like even these will go down but basically these have got a lot more filter capacity than bio load so they're doing fine um and in fact the funny thing is the but of course as things increase in size the uh the filter requirement will increase as well or well, the bio load will increase, I should say. Now, do we have any capacity problems? Oh, we've got a massive overcapacity problem. Now, this is getting really bad. So this one actually has a filter attached. Let's go see, like, what's going wrong here. So the first problem is we've got a big overcrowding problem. The second thing is actually this one's filter has got clogged up. And if you look here, there's actually no access to this filter because of this food box. So um, we're going to need to be able, need to fix that. Um, I mean, we could just get rid of the f this food box. Or we could do something kind of janky like this. And then move this food box over here. Um, and now they'll be able to access that filter. Uh, but we've still got an overcrowding problem generally. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll move Boo because Boo's colourful and that synergizes with all the plants we have in here. Move them over there. Oh, uh, that was just the tank from the store popping up. We're still at 9 but that's actually not too bad in terms of that. And then in terms of water quality, yeah, it's going down to 46. So we need to get that sorted. This one's water quality is really bad as well because this one never actually got a filter. Um, I'm going to actually move this food box and I'm going to put it right next to the entrance. Now, later on, this might not be a good idea because I think um, star, uh, guests might mess with it and uh, they might find it kind of ugly to see a food box out, out in the open. But uh, currently that doesn't happen, so why not take advantage of that? We can't put it here because that will block access for feeding, so we'll put it there. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting new thing where now basically your staff need access to the filters. So it's uh, you're going to have to think, I have to think about that a lot more when I'm placing things. So now we should find that one of these, actually not, not this one, this one's just been built, but this one is going to get cleaned out. She's going straight there to clean this one out while everyone else is just doing um, food tasks. So I think what uh, what's going to be really interesting, I think it's probably going to be the next thing I'm going to add is the ability to manage these uh, these tasks more. So it gives individual staff uh, priorities for different tasks. So for example, Fred, who's good at cleaning, we can make him do all the cleaning out uh, and we can let Verity and uh, Rachel, I think she's called, yeah, let them do the feeding because they're good at feeding. Uh, and then the other thing is this idea of whether you want to set, how you want to set up your filters. Uh, I'm just saying, is anyone doing any more filter cleaning? Um, let's click all these. No, it won't be for a little while. Now, see, what's interesting is these ones have such a high... Ah, oh, this is interesting. So this is actually starting to drop now because, look, because these, the, the filter has got clogged up a little bit, its filter powers have, have dropped. Let's just see. Oh, no, Casper didn't get fed. Uh, so this one's water quality has dropped to 85, but still it's probably going to get cleaned out today and <clears throat> that's not especially necessary. So um, what you could do is set this one to only get cleaned out when it gets clogged to like 
and that will actually mean that your t your your guys are going to be it's going to free up their tasks. It's also going to stop the problem with all of your filters being cleaned out at the exact same time, which may get in the uh, in the way of food tasks. But to get around that, if you wanted to, you could set the priorities of food tasks higher than all the rest of the tasks. So this will all make a lot more sense when I um, I put it in the game and show you. But it's it's probably going to be the first time where you're going to really get an idea of what I think the meat of the kind of strategic gameplay is going to be about is is kind of setting up the way your your staff do all the tasks. Um, oh, you've got these bars. I didn't explain the bars. The bars are basically how much food the person's holding, so you can get a bit of a better idea for. Uh, oh, everybody got fed this time. Oh, no, except it's 2.30. Will they do it in time? Uh, this is a little indicator showing uh, whether they've been fed yet, if, if every, every fish has been fed in this place yet. So there we go. I don't know why they walk all the way over here to do the, that, uh, the feeding task when they could do it here. Now, this is interesting. The water quality is still going down. Let's pause. We've still got a happiness problem in this tank. You know, we've got... Trait growth of only 75%, which isn't great. Um, the water quality is 51%, which isn't very good. Oh gosh, this one's water quality is not very good either. Everything else is absolutely fine. Um, now, this is actually okay for now, but you see that Charlie is starting to get a little bit affected by the water quality being below 70 because... Um, what is this one again? An angel fish, right? No, tang. Oh my god, surgeon fish. What am I get? I'm getting mixed up. Because uh, these tangs actually have a slightly higher water quality requirement. Um, so how can we solve this? Well, this one's got a big old filter, but it's just not been cleaned out. So yeah, what we were doing though, once we had more features, we'd make this get cleaned out sooner. I think the reason this one's getting clogged up so quickly is because there's just so many fish in this tank. Um, and this one is just got a, very, a small filter, you know, so these ones have got like really big filters for what they need So I think the best thing to do on this particular one is actually just replace this filter uh, Alternatively, we could add a load of extra filtration. You can see that this biological filtration is at 9.9 .9. uh, And that's because you've got these rocks which uh, Provide you a flat rate of biological filtration, which doesn't go down over time. They don't need cleaning So these are actually really powerful you'll see um, even though they take up a lot of space in your tank and reduce the amount of points. Uh, that's the, probably the one thing that's keeping this one's water quality okay. Let's uh, let's do one more day and just see if these things get cleaned out. <clears throat> so everyone's going to do uh, clean uh, filter jobs today. Now this might be a problem because now people might go hungry. Um, they're doing these ones. No, they're doing these ones. These ones don't really need doing. So this, here's a great example of like, yeah, the priorities aren't right here because... This is the one that really needs uh, sorting out. Was there any other problems? Yeah, it's a, bit, a little bit of overcrowding. Is she gonna do it? Yeah, there we go. The AI works to a certain extent. And there we go. Now that's been cleaned out and the water quality is gonna go back up to 61, but it's still 61 because it, it's just not, not a big enough filter. And some people went hungry because they, the staff spent so long cleaning out filters. All right, there we go. That's gonna be it for today's episode. I uh, hope that was cool. I hope that was interesting and you enjoyed it. Uh, so next, like I say, I'm going to be looking at adding some additional ways of telling your staff what to do, giving them priorities and that sort of stuff over the next couple of weeks, um, and and just tweaking what I've put in so far. Uh, I also just want it to be a lot more, less, a lot less fiddly to find what you're looking for. I think what would be great is like a global search uh, somewhere, so you could just click in it and just type in the word filter, and it would bring up all your filters. And it'd also bring up anything that was called filter, like if its name was filter. I don't know if you guys have seen the the search in the um, the collection part of the game Hearthstone. Uh, so when you're looking at all your cards, you you can just type into the search filter. And what I love about it is it searches by name, but it also searches by type. Uh, and so you know you could type in the word animal, it'd show all your animals. Or you could type in the word fish, and it'd show you all your fish. But you could type in the word uh, fishman. And maybe you've got a little guy called Fishman. And then it'd bring up Fishman. Uh, so, yeah, I like that idea. I'd like to get a, that in at some time point so it'd be, it's easier to kind of look at everything. It'd be, it'd be great just to have a categorised thing as well. I just want to look at all my filters and see how they're, you know, how, how, how clogged they are. All right, so that's it for this episode. Uh, if, you, if you enjoyed it and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, then please go ahead and do that. And... Uh, other than that, uh, I look forward to the next vlog uh, in about a week's time. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.